I'm here with Tom Newman. Tom, this is your second trip back to the to race club. Tom's from New York, and uh, he's an accomplished swimmer. Uh, he's on the board of Asphalt Green, which is one of the greatest uh, swimming programs in the country, so you're an avid uh, fan of swimming. Uh, let me just start by you know, asking the obvious question. I mean, you were born with very short legs, and you've lived your entire life that way. Um, what was that like, you know, growing up and, and uh, meeting those challenges? Uh, just as a, a young boy growing up with that, that kind of challenge, what, what was that like? Well, I always, uh, you know, my parents really wanted me to get into swimming because they thought it was going to be a perfect sport for somebody who was born like I was without legs. And, of course, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do all the other sports. So I played Little League and I played football and I played those other things. But... Uh, it wasn't until later in life I saw the wisdom of their ways when I came back to swimming. So um, I pretty much did everything all the other folks, uh, all the other kids did. How old were you when you started swimming? Well, as I said, they wanted to teach me early on because they thought it would be a great sport for me. So I learned when I was about five. Um, but it wasn't until I moved to California uh, that I started swimming, uh, lap swimming uh, with masters and ocean swimming. So probably about 25 years old. And tomorrow's your birthday, so it's true. you're going to be 26, right? Uh-huh, 26. So, uh, you've been at it a while, uh -huh. and, and you keep coming back to it. It seems to be a passion for you now, if I can put a word in your mouth. But uh, what do you find about swimming? Why do you keep coming back to it? I mean, you were away a little bit. You just had a, a baby boy a year and a half ago, Saul, and uh, that changed your life a little bit. But yep. now you're finding your way back to the pool, and we're happy you're back here in, in Isla Mirada. But... You know, why do you like swimming? Well, swimming is a, you know, for somebody with my disability, it's just the perfect sport. I can, uh, I can do it uh, with ease. I can compete with other folks. So it puts me on an even playing field. Uh, it's gravityless, so it makes me feel like I'm kind of flying through air. So I always enjoy that. And I know that uh, because I didn't compete as, uh, as a kid, um, I don't have that obsession with winning, so I'm, I'm fine being mediocre my whole life, and I am just keep working at it and enjoying it. Well, I've watched you and coached you now. You're, you're way better than mediocre. I, I'm impressed by how talented he is, and he's got a great technique. Um, this is your second trip back to the race club. There must be something here besides Isla Mirada that you like. You know, what are you, why did you come back? Well, Isla Mirada is pretty great, but I came here the first time a few years ago, and I was really trying to gear up and get in shape and do some competitive ocean swims. And I did that. I competed in Tampa, uh, where I did a relay uh, with the 24 mile, and I was preparing for it at the time. And then, um, unfortunately, as you said, uh, fortunately family and work, but unfortunately for my swimming, got in the way. So, the first thing I said to my wife was, uh, in order to, uh, in order to get back my technique that I've lost, I got to come back to race club because it really just uh, was a great. Uh, exercise in, in getting faster and getting stronger and getting better. Well, thank you. It's nice of you to say. Um, I hope we can make you fast again. And uh, last question: With your adversity, with your challenges, what would you offer advice to everybody? You know, at some point in their life, they find some challenges. Maybe not as significant as yours, but everybody finds a challenge. What would you? You know, advise people when they encounter a disease or a physical adversity or an injury or something that throws them back. What's the best advice you can give them? Oh gosh, that's tough. I'm, t I'm a tough one to give advice. I think that everybody, um, you know, everybody kind of thinks their burden's the heaviest and they have a lot to deal with. And I don't think about it too much, so I don't, I don't really dwell on it. And and the funny thing is, you know, when it's part of your life, you don't, uh, you just don't know any different. So you know. I wouldn't really give it too much advice. And keep swimming. That's the other thing I tell them. That's pretty good advice. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate Thank you. It.